this is me, Pinkside Gamer 66 and today is a brand new Minecraft video inside of my Think Park that I'm building. And so, I haven't done much. Um, all I did is did the dispensers and signs for on the other stall. But I do have some things I want to tell you once again. So, I will be getting mods for my birthday. Um, which is coming up soon, it's this month. And so, once I get those mods, the videos will be way more exciting. And, um, I'm going to be getting the custom MCP, Stampy Long Nose mod, or Stampy mod. I'll be getting the More Foods mod, or Frenager mod. And once I get those mods, I'm going to be doing custom mod adventures. Um, like the NTDM does, but they're not going to be called that. I'm going to name them my own thing. Uh, I mean, like, I'm going to rename, I'm going to, um, what you call it? I'm gonna name mine a different thing, but uh, I'm gonna do some of those, and I'm just gonna build a big city and then go around and do adventuring and stuff with my cool mods. But once I get those mods, I'm gonna do a li little mod showcase just for fun. Um, because every time I watch other people do mod showcases, um, I really like them and they're really fun. So I want to do some my myself, and so. So far we have our press to get tickets, and you get, oh shoot, I didn't mean to press it twice, and you get a ticket um, from this dispenser here, and then on the other one, same thing, but you just get a minecart. And um, if you stand in the correct place, like if you stand right in front of the button, then it goes immediately into your inventory. It's pretty cool. And then once you get that, you have to throw it onto the wooden, the wooden, the wooden pressure plate. Um, and then you can get inside. But you don't really have to. Um, if you don't want to. Like, because then it's going to be like wooden gates. But it will be really helpful if you do. Because like, they're just going to be spruce gates. So you can go through them anytime without doing that but it's cool if you do um normally my other theme park i did do some upgrades because i learned for the ring toss i made the wooden pressure plates wooden so when you throw them they actually clicks onto there and then i also did it to where once you throw it since it clicks on and it actually activates it then a prize shoots out from the dispenser below and it comes out in a water source which i'll show you sooner later in the video but, so, once you get your ticket, uh, just pretend this is my ticket, and once you get your ticket, you can throw it down onto here, and it lets you in. Make sure you collect your ticket back up, though, because you need it to get out, too. <laughs> um, yeah, and then you'll go inside and have access to the park. So, um, that is going to be the only possible way to get in, because there's going to be a fence around the park. But I'm not going to fence it around yet until I'm completely finished building with it. Um, just in case I want to build more rides, but I don't have enough space because it's already all the way from the ground. So, so the first thing I'm going to build is a roller coaster. So, I've had some practice building roller coasters, and I've been building, um, and I've learned some new techniques for roller coasters. So, um, to make them look more realistic, I like to use fence poles to to um, have to make it look like there's supports underneath the roller coaster, even though you don't need supports. <laughs> um, because it's Minecraft, who needs supports? But it makes it look better with supports. So, this is going to be the first roller coaster. Um, let's see. So, I think I might start it here on the side. So, that's not right in the beginning. Um, it's kind of on the side at the beginning still <laughs> and um you're gonna go through this line here lovely line here and um and then the roller coaster i also learned something that looks quite cool um with roller coasters it's like when you have two tracks one for the start and one for the end um and it's actually quite easier than making it like kind of connect together or doing it to where like like there's like the track here like there's like the track here and then you get like that and then like once you come around then like look 
like you go on and once you come around it leads you like back to that track like that it's right much here. it's much easier than um it's much easier to do it just two separate tracks and doing that so let's get this so i think this first ride is going to be called the um it's going to be called the orbit and and it's going to be um like it's just going to be a roller coaster that like shoots up really really high into the air basically so the first track is going to be this one and then at the end like the track's going to have like like this track if you do this um something that you learn if you do this and you light an activator rail to go over it it immediately shoot you out on its own so that's what i'm going to do for to so that you get out immediately even if it keeps on going you'll get out anyway so that's how i'm going to do it see it shakes your mind hard and then it makes you fall out <laughs> basically so that's going to be the end at the start at the start there's going to be a power rail so Actually, no, at the start, there's going to be like detector rails, just slow the ride down. So, and then it will stop and then it will keep on going. So, that's the idea. <laughs> um, hopefully, the idea actually works. Uh, this normally does not work. Um, but if it doesn't, I will be fixing it in the next, I will be fixing it in the next episode. Um, and I will look up how to do it correctly. So let's see. It's been, okay. So once you start, and you start here, and then there'll be a fast rail here. It's not really going to be much to see here. Like it's just going to be like a normal um, roller coaster. It's not going to have any theme or anything. It's just going to be a regular roller coaster. Just for the height and stuff. So, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna put some supports here. And then, you go like this. There's gonna be a few zigzags here. And there's gonna be support there. And then, you're going to shoot up again. Super duper high. Let's see, it's built just a little bit higher. One more, two more, three more. One, two, two, three. There we go. Now we need a big support here. And then I need a big support here. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Um, thanks for watching. It's been eight minutes already. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.